Hey church, welcome back to day four of our devotional series looking at this audacious life and in particular at being fearlessly devoted. Acts 2 verse 42 says they devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and to fellowship and to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Over the last few days we've looked at what it is to be devoted and how we can and how we can be fearless. Today and tomorrow let's turn our attention to being devoted to Jesus and his house. Firstly, how can we de be devoted to his house? Pastor Glynn spoke on Sunday in Manchester Central Campus and helped us to see five things about God's house. The first one, it's a house, not a ceremony. It's sometimes tidy, messy. The atmosphere can be great, but also weird. There are good days, bad days, and challenging days. It's because it's a house, his house. And when we're devoted, we recognize and accept this and give ourselves to building it. Secondly, it's a house, not a hotel. Psalm 27 verse four says, one thing I ask that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Ephesians 2 19 also says, consequently, you are no longer foreigners and aliens, but fellow citizens with God's people and members of God's household. In a hotel, everything is done for you. But in a house, you take responsibility. You play your part, roll your sleeves up and fix in your mind that this is mine. It needs me and I need it. When we are devoted to his house, we take responsibility for it. Thirdly, it's a house to flourish in. Psalm 92 says the righteous will flourish like a palm tree they grow like a cedar of lebanon planted in the house of the lord they will flourish in the courts of our god they will bear fruit in old age and they will stay fresh and green the bible promises that we will flourish when planted in god's house when you are planted you are rooted you are saying this is where i belong and this is where i'm staying and in giving yourself to it you gain strength sustenance support and stability. I believe being planted also brings you peace, protection and provision through the community that surrounds you. Being planted means that you are not on your own and when you're devoted to his house, you flourish. Fourthly, it's a house that is all consuming. In Psalm 69 verse two, King David says, passion, zeal for your house consumes me. When we are devoted, to his house we are passionate about it and it's consuming because we understand the impact his house and his church can have on a city a nation and the world we want to build it equip it and resource it because we know from it comes great things and fifthly it's a house of intimacy it's a place of prayer praise and reflection where the business of faith is conducted. It's where lives are transformed. People meet Jesus and learn to walk with him. It's where we learn, grow and mature, find freedom and live in freedom, where we bring things to the altar, into his throne room, let go, forgive and be forgiven. It's a beautiful place of tears and laughter, worship and praise, bended knee and lowered head, experience the light touch and quiet whisper of the Father as we quietly surrender. It's a house of intimacy that we are devoted to. Love you, church. Have a great rest of the day. And I'll see you tomorrow for part five of Fearlessly Devoted.